Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of How Not to Play Dead Rising 2. This one's going to be a little different because I lost the audio for this, uh, my commentary while I was playing. So I'm going to actually be recording it um, as I watch it. So please don't be mad at me. Uh, this might last for maybe one or two episodes, um, but I promise we'll get right back into the action. This is going to be really weird for me, so so bear bear with me, okay? I'm sorry, and I apologize. Um, I'm not exactly sure what to talk about because this was like a few days ago, actually probably about a week and a half ago that I actually recorded this. Um, what I was doing was I was trying to beat the game before Dead Island came out. So, um, it mostly worked, uh, mostly, not entirely, um, kind of like half worked. I mean, like Dead Island came out and I, I still had like one thing left to do. I still haven't beaten it, to be honest. Uh, because uh, there's some extra stuff to do after the game. But I'm not going to talk about that because I don't want to spoil it for you. So <laughs> that would totally ruin the surprise. Uh, so when we left off, I think I had just saved the naked chick and put all my clothes back on. Um, and now I was uh, trying to follow the uh, stupid arrow to bent wood. Uh, <laughs> bent wood. <laughs> no, okay. Talking to Luz. How are you doing, Luz? I lost my favorite club. How can I practice for the tour? I feel practically naked without it. Oh, great. More naked references. Sorry to hear that. Yep, that's it. Listen, could you fetch a new golf club? I spotted some real nice ones in the sports shops. I'm not sure I want to risk my neck for a golf club. No offense. No offense, either. I've got some cash tucked away in surprising place. Ew. You got me that club? I'll get you a real nice reward. Oh, Chuck, I sure hope you can get me that golf club. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. So we're going to go and ignore Esther and jump. Okay. I didn't die. <laughs> That's good news. The arrow is like, hey, go back and talk to Luz. And I'm like, no, forget you. This stupid arrow. You're being stupid. But I guess I'll go talk to her anyway or something. I don't know what I was thinking here. I thought maybe I could take the coffee pot and drink it for health. Oh, I know. I was looking for orange juice. For some reason, like the first 80 times I came in here and I grabbed orange juice, um, I could uh, drink it, and then I'd come back later, and there'd be more orange juice. But now, <laughs> we're all out of orange juice. So I have this stupid coffee pot. I thought, maybe I can drink the coffee, but that didn't work either. So now I've just got a coffee pot in my hand. Just gonna keep it. Maybe I can give it to Katie. Katie, would you like coffee? No, you're too young for coffee, huh? Probably shouldn't give that to you. Okay, and we'll just ignore Stacy, because no one cares about her. <laughs> all right, boxes. Whoa. Oh, God, whoa. Whoa. Wait, did that box just go straight through Crystal? Crystal, are you are you a mutant? <gasps> oh my god, look at that. <laughs> oh, glitch. Oh, man. Hey, hey, Crystal. Get off your soapbox, lady. Get off your soapbox. Get it? Because she's in her soapbox. Holy crap. That's a fail. All right. So now, hopefully, I'm actually going to just ignore the arrow and go into the vent down here with my coffee pot of justice. Now armed with mighty coffee pot. I'm not sure how much damage you can actually do with a coffee pot, but it's, you know, no reason to uh, to worry about it, really. I mean, in all, in all seriousness, it could be the most epic coffee pot ever. I mean, you could, like, throw that at somebody, and, like, I don't know, it's so heavily caffeinated that it just erupts, and the zombies are like, oh my god, java, 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 and they, their heads explode. That's a possibility. You never know. Just saying. Oh, well, drop the coffee pot. Look at that vodka. I had it the whole time. Didn't even think about it. Because I'm dumb. I'm a derp. So I went in here with my trusty baseball bat. Figure I'm going to make a spiked bat. Let's see. Did I make a spiked bat? Yes, damn I right. did. Yeah, Damn right I did. That's right, Chuck. You're awesome. Okay. Take another baseball bat. Now I have three baseball bats and three sledgehammers. There is no way any of this could go wrong. Ever. We will be the safest safe of all safiness. All right. What was I doing? I'm trying to figure out because I know the arrow was telling me to go back and I'm like, no, you're dumb. I'm not going to go back. Styling toddlers. <gasps> oh, I know what happens here. This is when I find the one piece pajamas. Not bad. Not bad at all, Chuck. You you look really. It's like he's wearing long johns, you know, with his boots in the middle of uh, winter. It was a cold and frigid winter. I was forced to wear my underwear. 
but my long underwear, so it was not too uncomfortable. I don't know what accent I'm doing there. It's just a random accent. Kids superhero boots. Yeah. Da -da 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 Oh, I can't sing that. That's copyrighted. Copywritten? Giant stuffed elephant. It's a giant- Oh god, zombie. Zombie, 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 zombie. Get away from the giant Republican, guys. Seriously, that's not- that's not nice. Alright. So I really have no clue where I was going. Um... <gasps> robot bear! I didn't know there was a robot bear right there. Uh... Oh, I got the novelty glasses. Yeah! Killer. Now I look like Karl Marx and Charlie Chaplin all at the same time. That takes that takes skill, you know, to look like Karl Marx and Charlie Chaplin. Fireworks? I don't want fireworks. Giant teddy bear! Ah, stop talking! Creepy. Alright, I was looking for something else in here that I could wear. I hate you too. Shut up, you fat, stupid bear. Go away! Alright, what's in here? Polo shirt. Blue jeans. Yes. Yeah, All right. That's what I'm talking about. Look at how snazzy he looks with the mustache and the eyebrows. Oh, Chuck. You make my heart bleed. Um, and black dress shoes? Okay, why not? No, I mean, you really, really, like, my heart is bleeding because of your face. <laughs> oh, did I get the hat? Oh, I think I did, didn't I? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I got a fedora. After I killed these zombies who are in my way. I'm trying to put a hat on, guys. No, 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 no. Oh, God! Ah! Ah! Get off my face. You suck. I hate you. Okay. So, go over here. Oh, checking out for some more sunglasses. Not. Not checking out sunglasses. There should be a golf club in here, right? Somewhere. Man, nope. Just a computer. It's a sports shop with only a computer. All right. Uh, the chieftain's hat. Nope, didn't go in there. Oh, excuse me while I yawn. It's late, man. It's like 10.30. It's like way past my bedtime. All right, that's a baseball bat. You'd think there'd be a golf club in here somewhere. They had boxing gloves, dumbbells, uh, boxes, stupid boxes, MMA gloves. I think this is when I try this out, though. Yeah, I think it is. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I see a bell. I see a paddle. And I see that I hold I have a hammer. Whoa, dude. Stop trying to break into the glass. That's dangerous. But I figure... Oh, God. 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 Face. Face. All right. Forget this. Go away. Hey. No, God. I was trying to kill you. Jeez. Just shut up and die. Okay, here I go. Boom. Ding. Nice. Can I do it again for more points? No, just the one. But I got 5,000 PP for that, because I'm awesome. All right, dive roll. I just figured out how to do it by clicking. I was like, I'm going to dive roll all over the place. You don't even know. The shoehorn. Go inside the shoehorn. No, there is no golf club in there. Sport trance. Clearly, there will be a golf club in there. Clearly. Oh, God. What? Who said that? Hey, get away, zombies. I'm trying to get inside, okay? Get. Get away. 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 No. Bad zombies. No cake for you. No. No. The cake was a lie anyway. I'm sorry I promised you cake. When did I actually promise them? I don't think I did. Maybe that's just in my head. I thought I did. I thought at some point I was like, hey, zombies, if you leave me alone, I have cake for you. And the zombies were like, oh, we're really hungry. Give me some cake. And then I'm like, oh, I'm sorry, I can't. I got to fight these zombie hoodlums who apparently are strong enough to withstand a sledgehammer to the face. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. And one more for Jenny and the Wimp. Bro, you killed me, bro. Why did you do that? Orange juice. Don't mind if I do. No, there is no safe around here. But there is a safe hoose. But you're not welcome. We don't like your type. And by that, I mean hoodlum type peoples. Baseball bat. I'm looking for a golf club. Oh, oh, golf club. Golf club. Don't mind if I do. Okay. So now I'm just going to go up these stairs here to attack the zombie hoodlums that I know are up here. Like that guy. Hey, get off my stairs. Oh, it was like a Greek, Greek damaging. It was done off screen, so you couldn't see how violent it really was. All right. Chuck is going to then walk over here. 
uh, like a boss and then go downstairs like a boss and then he's going to kill a zombie like a boss and he's gonna do flying kicks okay I'm done I'm not gonna boss anything anymore that's just it's it's a dumb meme that's like long past its due well it wasn't dumb when it started it was actually pretty good when it started with the, the song from Lonely Island like a boss but then you know everybody was like I'm gonna do everything like a boss because that's the only way they knew how to do things and I was like, no, okay, no. It's not funny unless you're Lonely Island. But now I've, I've played into the meme myself. I feel really bad, actually. I'm ashamed of myself, so I hope you don't mind. Um, okay, so I have a golf club. I'm going to go in here and go give it to Luz. So we actually did something this episode. Yay! It wasn't actually anything very useful, but hey, you know, I figure don't count your chickens until they've pecked your eyes out. Um, which is just a new expression I'm trying out. Um, it means not to um, take for granted the fact that you can sometimes do stupid things um, and get good results. Um, but unfortunately, like that, when I went into the corner to see if I could open something, I did not get good results. There was nothing there. It was uh, just a, a blank, a dead area, dead space. <gasps> dead space! That's a game I want to play. That would be interesting. I would be screaming all over the place. There would be urine involved. I would not scream urine, um, because that's biologically impossible. Unless I'm a, I'm a mutant. Maybe I can secrete urine from my... That would be weird. Thanks, Chuck. Now I can get to practice. I need to make those other girls on the tour feel my wrath. Uh, sure, Luz. Whatever. You're crazy, because, you know, um... Hey, where's my reward? That's what I thought, lady. Level up. Inventory increased. Oh, I'm stuck. It's like the Matrix. Heli blade. <laughs> Where can you find a toy helicopter, man? That's what I want to well, know. All right. Well, all right. Already. We'll all die. Oh, God. My ankles. Oh, my cankles. Oh, everything. My everything. No, I'm not going to go. Well, I don't know. No, I'm not going to go. I'm going to pause. Thanks for watching. Click on the subscribe button down below. And as always, you can get to the next episode by clicking on the next button in the top right corner. Hopefully by then, I'll have solved this whole you know, talking over thing, but I can't promise you. I have to double check. I haven't, I didn't check before I recorded this one, so I gotta check again. All right, so I'm gonna go. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time uh, on the next button. If you click that, yeah, we'll see you then.